Hi guys, um, got a long born, born journey back home. I just dropped my partner off to her mum and dad, some of my kids. They live down in Bude and I'm about an hour and away. So I thought um, I'd give you a quick update on why I'm doing this, the backup power system for any of you that don't know yet. Um, I'm doing it for one, to try and save on electric because electric can get bloody ridiculous price these days. Um, you know, just to power some of my tools and shed stuff, I'll get a bigger inverter, get more batteries and stuff. Um, I've got three solar panels all together now, which is 60 watts worth of power. Um, yeah, 60 watts worth of power, sorry. When, obviously, the sun's completely on it. Obviously, the sun doesn't freaking touch them now because they hide, it's hiding behind the buildings. Obviously, it's winter sun, so. Um, I'm mainly, I'm mainly doing it for my daughter because she's got to have a breathing monitor for when she's uh, going to bed. Basically, she's got a medical condition called RAS. Um, RAS is reflex anoptic seizures. Basically, that is when her brain gets overstimulated, as in being too happy, too sad. Um, different feels, different tastes, it can cause her to have a seizure and her brain can also tell her heart and lungs to slow down or completely stop, therefore it pass, it makes her pass out. Um, it's a thing she can grow out of, but she may not. Um, lately she's been quite bad with it. Um, I mean, we have to tell her off, yeah. We can't not discipline her, because the second we do that, well, things are going to be harder for us in the, in the long term. Um, but, you know, it's, it's something we have to deal with day to day, but we have to deal with it when it happens. We can't plan it, we can't plan anything what to do. It's just something we have to get on with when it happens. But that is mainly why I want to have a solar backup system off grid if for when we have a power cut if we have a power cut um because of that um i'd do anything for my daughter you know i'd do anything for my son i'd do anything for my partner but with with her it's 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 a rare thing i'm kind of hoping she'll grow out of it we went to see her pediatrician the other day well a while ago and she said it's definitely that she's definitely put it down to that so we're kind of glad we know what it is, definitely. The bad thing is, we now think our son might be starting to get it because it can run through genes. So the pediatrician says. We just got to keep an eye on him. It might be not be nothing, but at least we know what to do now. They've both got really bad reflux anyway, to the point where they're both on medication for it. Um, but yeah, that's, that's why I'm doing the power back up. Because of that. Um, some of you might think I'm an absolute freaking dick for wasting money on on doing that. Well, sorry, but if you're in the same situation as I am, you would do it as well. If you're into that sort of stuff, that is. Um, you know, it's you'd do anything for your kids, and that is one of the things I'm doing for her. So it could be even be for my son. But you know, it's going to help me. At, it's going to be helping me as well because I'm going to be saving myself on electric. So it's going to be helping. It's going to benefit me as well. But you know, um, and any of you got a problem with it, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you. I mean, obviously it's my it's my problem. I'd spend if I had the money, I'd spend thousands on it to make sure I had it. You know, there just in case. I'd happily spend thousands on it. Like that breathing monitor. I would get the breathing monitor now, even if there was nothing wrong, it's just for peace of mind at night times. You know, it's just, it's just it's just one of those things. I'd happily pay a thousand pounds for that monitor. It's only a hundred and fifty pound brand new, but I'd happily pay a thousand pounds for it just for peace of mind at night times. Um if any of you want to know what that what what the monitor is, stuff like that. Um and you were interested in buying one, leave a comment and I'll see if I can find one for you and I'll send you the link. 
basically what it is, you've got a mono her, her end, you've got a mat, it's really sensitive, that goes underneath the cot mattress, and then you've got a little monitor thing that you take with you. The one we got, you can control lighting in there, you can speak back, um, there's loads of different things you can do, I can't remember what it is now, well stuff you can do now, but that's, that, as again, that's why I'm doing the power backup. That's why I'm mainly doing it. So, I thought I'd let you know while I'm on the born journey home. Um, lucky enough this traffic's quiet, so. But yeah, that's why, so, like I said, I've got three solar panels at the moment. I've got two junction boxes up. I've got another three that I can't put up. But, I thought I'd wait until I get some more solar panels. I plan on getting another two more solar panels. I've got one 88 amp hour battery. I'm planning on getting another two 88 amp hours. I'm planning on getting an amp meter for all the wiring, for the connecting all the um, batteries together, all the terminal connectors I need. Two sets of down lights, which is one watt each. Also planning on getting. 16 foot of strip light, which I can cut to any length. Switches. Um, basically, if you've seen my other videos, you'll see what I've got and what I'm planning on getting. Obviously, that's going to have to wait for a minute because of money situation, but I will be getting it. I said the solar panels, I won't be buying them out front now because of bills that rule your life, as per usual. But you're happy to do that because you're in your own place. But yeah, that's the situation, guys. That's why I'm doing the solar power backup system, mainly. Um, if I had to chuck the whole thing away, if it made my daughter get rid of this RAS, I'd do it in an instant. But now you know. <coughs> now you know why, yeah. Anyway, another thing about talking about power. I don't know if it's true or not, but apparently the southwest, I don't know if it's just southwest, apparently this winter we could be getting quite a few power cuts according to the power people because apparently we've had a few power stations closed down lately and with the amount of people we draw in with like heaters and stuff like that, um, apparently we could be in for quite a few power cuts. So that'd be another good thing to have the solar barrel back up. Um, I don't know if it's true or not, I'm going to go buy it is. So if any of you know about anything about that as well, I would like to leave a comment. Very much appreciate it. Anyway, I know you can't see very much. Before a trip, before I bring you along with me. Crappy weather, absolutely pissed down at the moment with rain. Um, yeah, take care guys. I know we're due some bad weather, but take care. YouTube is finally barely working again, as you can see from the other two videos, hopefully that I've put out, you've seen. Got Saturday, um, forestry farming to come, and Sunday farming to come. So, I'll get them uploaded for the, for the bright days. Take care. Cheers.